Why is it we have so many uh, millionaires and everything in the United States and we still have so many impoverished people who try to get up into the world? Why is it we have this lack of money where people who can't support themselves decently and get a decent job where all these big men are up on top making oodles and oodles of money, they don't need it. They can only eat that much, eat in a sleep in the bed. And what do you suppose bed. they do it? If they don't eat it and don't, uh, don't use it, what do you suppose they, they do They hoard it. it. They and what do you mean they hoard it? You mean it. they put it under their pillows? That's right. No. They, they keep investing it. Investing it in That's what? That's right. Yeah. What are they invested in? Well, in oil and everything where, I mean, all these other people who are What are they invested in? Don't get off the subject. No. What are they invested in? Well, they invested in a lot of uh, different things that the little people need. Well, do they invest it in factories? Yes. Does some of that money end up in machines? Yes. Do those factories and machines provide ordinary working people with jobs or not? What do you suppose the productivity of this country would be and of the, uh, the wage rate would be if the total amount of capital in this country today was what it was a hundred years ago? Where yeah. do you suppose the improvements in productivity come from except from the, re the investment by people of their savings? But let me go to your fundamental question. First place, nirvana is not for this world. There is no paradise. Of course we've got a lot of people who are poorly off but if you look at it over time, if you get a sense of proportion, the well-being of the ordinary people has been the main thing that has been improved by economic progress and economic growth and development. And residual, most residual hard cases of poverty today are the result, again, of a failure of government. Why do we have a teenage, black teenage unemployment rate in 30 to 40 percent? because of two failures of government. One, a failure to provide decent schooling, which is a governmental responsibility. Has been, whether it should be or not, it has been. And second, because of a minimum wage rate, which prevents those kids who haven't had decent schooling from getting jobs at low pay at which they can earn the skills on the jobs that would enable them to rise to higher pay. If you look at the sources of poverty, you will find a very lo most of them are derived from bad, what I regard as wrong-headed government policies. 